Okay, I know I always end up wearing the same pairs of shoes over and over and over again. Today we're sort of switching it up. We're going for the Storm Blues. Beautiful, wonderful, nice, amazing shoes that I like very much. And you know what? If this video hits 5,000 likes, I'll bring back different kicks every day, which is something I used to do where, I mean, I wore different shoes every day. So it's up to you guys if you want to see that 5,000 likes. I think I've come to a very terrible, awful, absolutely horrendous realization about my life. I hate weekends. I hate weekend. I don't, I don't hate them. I strongly dislike weekends. Monday through Friday, I have an employee here. I have other people working on things. Saturday, Sunday, it's me. I take a lunch break, nothing gets done. I sleep in by accident, nothing gets done. I just want to take an afternoon to myself, nothing gets done, which sort of leads me to working more hours on the weekends than I do on the weekdays, and I need to do everything by myself. Just doing YouTube, that's fine, 100%, that's absolutely fine, but a whole bunch of stuff that I'm running that's not YouTube related, it is a workload and a half. I've been at the office since 7 a.m., which is exactly what you want to hear on a Sunday morning. And I think I finally finished all the work that I need to do in here. So that being said, this gives us a wonderful opportunity to be a regular person for the rest of the day. And what do regular people do on a Sunday afternoon? They go shopping. This might not be nearly as bad as I thought it would be. First off, we're going to the Nike store. Now, Nike has some pretty tight capacity limits on how many people they're letting inside of the store. So I've heard from people in the past that there's been an hour long wait to get in, but the parking lot's empty. And the other time I did come through this outlet mall since I've been back, there was a line for Nike outside of the mall. Uh, there's no line outside of the mall and there's not a lot of people in the parking lot. I guess the benefits of shopping on Sunday morning Fingers crossed it's not terrible. It's probably going to be terrible. Fingers crossed it's not terrible. I also can't bring my camera in there, so we are switching to the iPhone in three, two. Hey, we're back. Um, change of plans. So it's, uh, it's 11.56. I thought them all opened up at 11. It opens up at noon, and since it opens up in four minutes, there's now there's a line of <laughs> 50 people outside the front door to get into Nike. So. I'm not doing that. We can go to the regular mall for House of Hoops and Champs and stuff like that, but I'm not standing in line for a Nike outlet. So I left my camera inside of my car, oops, but as you can see, the mall was very empty for a weekend. This is the first time I've been inside of the mall on a weekend in, I mean, since like November of last year. And you needed to stand in line to get inside of Champs. They had some cool stuff out front. They had the Kamikazes that we just got, Air More Up Tempos, which I was very excited about. And then inside, these really stood out to me, some sort of what the, Air Max One. I'm not sure if there's any special theme behind these. And in the Jordans, they had Fire Red Five still sitting there, which uh, restocked because they were not there last time I was at the mall. And then they had the alternate Grape Fives as well, which are sold out most places in the world. They also had these, which I was unaware are 300 Canadian dollars plus tax, $300, that is absolutely insane. These LeBrons on sale for $199, Canadian shoe prices are expensive. Obviously the conversion works out to where they're exactly the same essentially, but the number is big. And those LeBrons were cool. Now, they had some uh, old school Adidas, they had the T-Max, and they had whatever these disgusting sock shoes are, those have been sitting there since last year. As much as I want to be desperately back in New York ASAP, 
Winnipeg is a place of many wonders and enchantments. <laughs> Weird things like this happen all the time in Winnipeg. Um, I don't know if people don't enjoy making money or if people don't understand, but all the time you'll find things sitting at the Nike outlet that you could flip for $100 profit, or you'll find things sitting at Champ Sports that have sold out everywhere else in the country for unexplained reasons. I don't understand it. I don't know if anyone in Winnipeg understands it, but it consistently happens, and I bought a pair of shoes today that has sold out most places, and I looked, these go for more than retail on StockX. Um, and I like the shoe, more importantly. I, it's the first time I've ever seen them in person. I was actually quite impressed by them. Huh, I got into my car without air conditioning. I was out early this morning. It was cold when I left my house, but it is just burning hot now. Okay, no filming and driving. I'll get back to you guys in a second. I'm not complaining, but I'm just confused. So I double checked on uh, on StockX and some other sites, and yeah, these uh, these are a pretty popular pair of shoes. Um, it's not like it's an $800 pair of shoes, but consistently throughout every single size, uh, you you can make like $20 a pair on StockX, and they're just sitting in Winnipeg. And I mean, if I could make $20 a pair and buy 20, 30 pairs, especially during a global pandemic where tons of people are out of work, don't you think that they'd be gone? Like, I'd take 20 bucks. I, I bought one pair. Um, I might honestly go back and buy more pairs. I like these. These are such a cool shoe. The alternate grapes. Um, the suede is not as good as I might have expected, but the shoe is a very, very cool colorway. And out of the three grape models that we've seen, the original grapes, the reverse grapes, which came out in 2013, which I'd love to see a re-release of, and these, if I'm being 100% honest, these are my least favorite by far, but that's like saying who the least attractive supermodel is. I mean, they're all still very good. Uh, this one is just my least favorite out of the three just just sitting there on shelves they sold out i i checked foot locker us um i asked friends who work at stores in toronto and they're not there because you could buy these and make twenty dollars profit off of them so i know that's not an astronomical amount of money i was just very confused i didn't buy these to try and resell these but i i don't know why no one else hasn't if that makes sense. These came out, um, I, what, what are we at now? A couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, a month ago? I honestly don't know, just time doesn't make a lot of sense when everything's locked down. The release dates are very strange now that everything gets pushed around. You don't really get them in the stores when you're supposed to get them in the stores. But uh, these have been sitting there for a while. And to be fair, they didn't, it's not like they had every size left. The biggest size that they had was what I got which is a size 10. So these are not for me. I'll probably throw these in a mystery box or give them away. I'll, I'll keep up to date with everything going on with that on Instagram. So if you wanna know if and when I'm giving these away, just give me a follow on Instagram, at Tom Stefanik. And I do most giveaways through Instagram. If you guys ever wanna follow me for anything like that, uh, Instagram is the place to do that. But really cool pair of shoes. Uh, getting the opportunity to have these in hand after sort of forgetting that they released. It wasn't really on my radar to get because I know they're just so hard to walk into a store and get it nowadays. And uh, buying online isn't my favorite in terms of producing content because then by the time you get them, there wasn't much of a point of buying them anymore um, for the sake of YouTube at least. But these look, just the colors are beautiful on these. Very, very, very nice colors on these. The purple and the aquamarine or teal or whatever we want to call that. And then of course the icy blue bottom. I don't know how you'd wear these. I'm probably gonna lean towards just all black. Black t-shirt, black hoodie, black jacket, whatever you want to go with, black jeans, and then these. I think that's, that's the way you got to do it. If you try and match these with like a teal shirt or a purple shirt, looks a little bit tacky i mean if you're a kid you could pull it off but i think you just got to go all black with these and i think it would look pretty decent purple is not a color that i wear almost ever at all except this is a really well done pair of shoes if these are still sitting in your area please let me know um and then go there and buy them make yourself some money i mean might as well it's 2020 i'm sure we could all use a few extra dollars here and there uh 
go buy all the pairs that they have. Put them on your credit card, pay off the credit card in four days once StockX pays you out. I mean, there's no downside to buying $15,000 worth of these if you can, because you make $20 a pair and it's not like it's that hard. You could phone UPS to get them to pick it up from your house. Very confused why these are still sitting there. That's really all I have to say. I, my brain hasn't caught up to the fact that no one had bought these. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, turn on post notifications as well. And if you guys would like to, I'll leave a link right at the top of the description for the July mystery box. Of course, that is one of the coolest things that we do on the channel. If you guys would like to support the channel, it's the best way to do so. And it's the best way to get some awesome stuff. Every single box gets at least $50 worth of stuff. Some boxes get up to like $2,500 worth of stuff. Off-White Air Force Ones, Jordan 1 UNCs, Jordan 1 Royals. We have a $1,000 t-shirt from the brand Mischief. Whole bunch of cool stuff. Go check it out. All the info is on my site. Link in the description. That being said, until next time, I love you and peace.